George Hartz gave me a demo of the Comma 2 on a ride back to the Comma AI offices in San Diego. Then we took a quick tour of the office. I found both the Comma 2 system and the entire Comma AI team and operation very impressive. Plus, I got a 3D printer named after me. As one robot to another, we're in this together, my brother. And now, on to the ride and tour with George Hotz. I'm here with uh, driving with George Hotz and uh, looking at the Comma 2, trying to find a stretch of road where we can enable it. Yeah, just start looping back to the office. I mean, I could enable it here, but this isn't really where it shines. But yeah, so we don't have, we don't have red lights and stop signs yet. Um, I don't want to ship it until we have a real uh, holistic one, until we have an end-to-end -end one. So you'll be able to then like stop at a stop sign. Yeah. So the longitudinal control. Yeah. Uh, Did you just enable it? I just enabled it, yeah. So this is the, uh, so we're going to have to stop at this light. But, um. How do you enable it? Uh, cruise control. So this it's the the integrated knobs on the on the car. Yeah. We have a good. We'll go on the one sixty three a bit, and that's 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 a good test of uh, whether your level two system is any good. <laughs> um, like pretty intense. Super Cruise actually can't do it. Um, Super Cruise can't do it because they're they're not good enough with roll on the road. Uh, autopilot can do it, and we can do it. How's San Diego in terms of quality of roads and lane markings and all that kind of stuff? Meh, pretty mediocre, like the rest of California. What's your favorite uh, reason for using Kama? Like, when when do you find the most joy? Oh, oh, it's it's long trips. It's um, you know, you, driving from here to LA. You'll do it without a disengagement, almost. You can you can you know, it's two hours to LA from here. You could just go to LA, uh, get in your car, and you just sit there and watch, and it's it's a it's a great time. All right, so we can we can engage here. So you know, we'll watch. So it doesn't technically require perfect lane marking. No, not at all. In fact, you can do lane changes on roads that don't have lane marking because it's all end to end. So I have to get over three lanes. I'm just gonna take control here to do it. Especially since there's a cop there. So let me just get over three lanes. And then this road's a decent demo. Yeah, so I think only us and autopilot can do this road. Pretty curvy. Yeah. And uh, it's not just curvy, it's also banked. Um, and if you don't, yeah, if you don't do that well, if you don't have a model that can detect that. Um, so the longitudinal policy is actually just being done by the car. Um, Hyundai has quite a competent ACC, probably the best one. Uh, so we haven't really felt the urge to move to our gas and brakes. There's a few cute things where which ours will do better and more holistically than, than theirs. But um, really it's about the turning. How hard is it to get it to be this smooth? Uh, hard. Five years of engineering. All of this end to end, huh? Yep. We are detecting the lane lines. They're used, but they're more used as, uh, see, like right there? That's the stock system being too harsh on the brakes. If you're a human driving, you would have been much more gradual on the brakes there. Um, but we're really going to push to switch all the longitudinals to open pilot once we have end-to-end -end longitudinal in the same way we have end-to-end -end lateral. What's harder, end-to-end -end longitudinal, end-to-end -end lateral? We put a lot more work into end-to-end -end lateral because there's a lot more shuttlety in that. The car companies have managed to build competent longitudinal. We have competent longitudinal using old school policies. But lateral, there's so much subtlety. For example, like when a lane splits out, should you follow that split? Should you stay in the center? Or should you stay to one side? Or so much subtlety there. Um, They're making it all smooth and yeah. not freak out. Yeah. yeah. And this thing, you know, the reason I feel very confident keeping my hands off the wheel, our torque limit is so much lower than Tesla's. So it can't, can't do anything crazy. No, we do injection tests where one person sits in that seat with a joystick and the other person keeps their hands off the wheel. 
and that person, you can't look at them, they're free to jam the joystick in any direction. And if you don't feel you know, safe in that maneuver, but take back over here, because we're getting off here. But um, yeah, that stretch of road is a, is, a, is a competent demonstration of open pilot. Yeah, that was impressive. It's not the high end. Um, maybe when we get to the, the city streets, I'll engage on the city streets. Is uh, city streets like a compelling use case? Or is that just kind of uh, without intuition end, builder? Without end-to-end -end longitudinal, it's pretty, uh, like, it's not really useful as product. Um, so it's more just, it's cool that it can do it. And like, we don't gate it off. But most of Open Pilot uh, is highways. Like, most of the value real gain is, is highways. Um, but also, well, not just highways, also like, um, like, one lane each way kind of things, like double yellow kind of roads. Yeah. I was doing all like the mountains up in Colorado with this thing and just, yeah, you get to look at the mountains while it drives. Um, so like, I can engage it here. Nice. Um, now remember, the longitudinal policy is, is Hyundai uh, and it's not ideal for cities. But, um, so for example, we're gonna go through this intersection with no lines. Oh, yeah. <laughs> See, notice how there's no line there, yet our placement is still almost human ideal. Yeah, this is great. So there. I mean, there you see, we did a stretch of, you know, a minute of city and perfectly human. Nothing sketchy. See, places like that are where disengage on gas is really nice. Really easy to, you know, hand off. You always know when that handoff is happening with the noise. It didn't like keep the ACC on or anything. God, if it kept the ACC on and I make the turn and it's like trying to accelerate at a weird time, you know, you're just asking to have a bad time. I like the the sounds, the visual. It's like clear when it's on and when it's off. Love it. Yes. Well done. Look at that. Let's be on the bike. Damn. That's impressive. That's really impressive. Go through intersections without thinking about it. Okay. That was awesome. <laughs> it's communicating the uncertainty with its movement a little bit. Love that. Yeah. I like it. Humans actually wobble a little more than you think, too. You notice it a lot more when the... This, yeah, that's yeah. an interesting point, yeah. Yeah, true. I think uh, Jess Levinson mentioned this in one of his interviews. He's like, so, you know, we have all these... We have the safety driver sit in the car and mark every tiny mistakes it made. And then we also have the safety driver sit in the car that was being human-driven and mark all the little tiny mistakes it made. So is the comma office in downtown? Comma office is right here. We're at comma uh, AI offices with uh, Mr. George Hotz. Can you oh, give us a little tour? It doesn't light up anymore, I don't know why. I do think most of these dashboards are okay. We're almost at 30 million open pilot miles. Wow. Um, it's a hell of a number. So here, here's dailies, weeklies, and uh, so actually, yeah, dailies are like maybe not 2,000, 1.5. These are so those are used daily and then used weekly. Yeah, that's really cool. Weeklies are almost 2.5, and monthlies are a little over three. This is how many devices are on our botnet in the last hour. Um, botnet last day, botnet last week. Is this all over the United States? This is no, this is everywhere. Uh, so here's 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 the maps. Uh, here's the map of the world. Uh, so we're everywhere in the world. Wow, South America. So let's see. In the, in, in the last 30 days, we had 2,200 in the U.S. And then Korea, Canada, Taiwan. Japan. Japan's up there. This is our percent engaged. So percent of miles engaged is about 50%. Percent time engaged is about 30. Our disengagements are split pretty evenly between cancel, gas, and break. Most of our segments are now coming from comma twos. Comma twos. Comma twos is the big, the big breakout for this company, yeah. Oh yeah, and it's profitable. This is our live link to the Europe office. It comes as a multinational corporation. <laughs> <laughs>
George just erased a bunch of top secret yeah. things. Yep. Censorship. The censors came in. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Look, the mission's at the top of the board. Solve self driving cars while delivering shippable intermediaries. Amen. What do we do badly? What can we do better? That's right. Good questions. Open Pilot 1.0. When is that coming up? When those things are done. <laughs> PyTorch. Oh, yeah. I like how that's a bullet point. That's like move everything to PyTorch. Yeah. Oh, sorry. It's not a data center. It's a compute cluster. For What's, legal reasons, it's a compute cluster. It's a compute cluster. OK. <laughs> what sounds sexier, too? Data ingestion, multi-chain. Cool. So this is like a this is the list from vision the board. Player. For OpenPilot 1.0? It's not going to happen for a while. But we, the Comma 2 is going to get OpenPilot 1.0. It's like what I said with, with the hardware. So this is all going to come to the Comma 2, just with OTAs. OTA, over the air. You're going to get air. Yeah. Uh, I mean, we're getting close on a lot of these. I'm going to start lowering the wheel touch timeout. Alex, you want to? This, this is Alex. Hi, hey, nice hey, to meet you. She's our uh, COO. It's true. COO, hey. nice. Hey, good to meet you. Uh, she runs the back there stuff. The what, there stuff. What's the technical description of the back there stuff? You want to see? Yeah. I think it's more exciting than this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Depends who you ask. We had all the secrets, right? Um, Nick, do we have any secrets out? I'll blur it out. Right I'll, I'll, bl I'll blur <laughs> the top uh, secrets. This is um, production. Stress test. This is our final test. The Comma twos hang out here for about 24 hours. We test them all. their heat, their temperature, their light sensors. We do cosmetic checks, um, screen checks. So, cool. Pretty exciting. You can see they all start over there as foams. Um, then they get retrofit. Uh, <laughs> People have to stay. But you can see we have a class of 100 phones out right now. They're getting tested. Cool. Three oh, look at all those being made. And then uh, it's kind of exciting, the day, actually. Lex, this is, uh, this is Mitchell. He's the uh, latest addition to our, uh, <laughs> to our uh, machine learning team. Uh, that's Chris, also known as Virtually Chris. He's a famous YouTuber. Oh, wow. <laughs> how, how did fame change you? <laughs> I, I introduced you as a famous YouTuber. Yes, I was the open pilot YouTuber. Uh, I got hired. Nice. Nice. Don't let it get to your head. Yeah. <laughs> Zick? That's nice. so Except head of hardware. Um, awesome. What's what's all the what's that stage of the of the assembly this is of the final case? Cases the cases. On. So we cool. have board testing, then the retrofit phones get board put on them, solder to them, they get the heat sink and the fan, and then we put the cases on them. Awesome. Um, yeah, they're taking the cases off, screens off here, they're testing screens over here, oven. Um, yeah, 3D printer, you want to show that? Oh, oh well, sure. Well, I'm that. afraid to take you in there, it's very hot and loud. Well, it's, all, it's also the home of the compute cluster. <laughs> it's, our, it's not a data center. It's not a data center. That's right. It's a compute cluster. Prepare yourself. It's the sound of productivity. Yeah. We switched. Oh my god, it's really hot. Yeah. Fresh bag cases. We're running jobs. So, uh, this is what you see on the outside of the commentaries. Yeah, I like how they have names. Yeah. Meg. Why? What's the purpose of the rings? They used to be for athletic activity, okay. but now we have two new printers. You can't, you can't anymore. Cool. We just got about twenty printers in the last few months. They've come from all over the world. Literally, Poland, Germany, Peru, France. How long does it take to, uh, 24 hours. to want to print a single one? Yes. We'll name, we'll name number 49 for 
Thank you. Yes, we'll call him Lex. I told him he could be number 49. Uh, I could be, I could be. So wow. great, 49 is not working right now, but I promise 49 will work. It'll be Lex, number 49. Struck. I, I appreciate that. That would mean a lot to me. Yeah, this is cool. So, unfortunately, because we got to keep the bugs and dust out, they're covered, but one use. The compute cluster. So these are our these are our uh, CPU machines. We have three racks that look like that. Um, two petabytes of spinning disks. Um, where are our 3080s? Our 3080s are in only uh, desktop computers for non-business purposes. Right. These are our GPU machines. What's in there? Uh, V100s. Uh. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. It's like a farm. Every day we kind of go out. And yeah, it's like I said it's yesterday. Like, 21st century farm. We got to hire our good farm bill player to come farm us the farms you know, yeah. every day. <laughs> um, <laughs> these are the ones that are ready to ship. Wow. Yeah, I think this is. These are all of our uh, our growing harness. These are all the cars we support. MCA, Bosch, Developer, Dynax, wow. Subaru, Toyota, all the Hyundais, all the so way to J, Hyundai, Nissan, VW. And all, all of these are assembled by hand? Yeah. That's cool. That's yeah, amazing. Uh, That's yeah. legit. This is awesome. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> and that's that's you, that's you, the office. Have you been for a ride among the cars? Yeah. He took me for a ride. It was Aww. it was awesome. It was really surprising how well it worked. Where'd you take him on the highway? He did like the one sixty three. In the city a little bit too. <laughs> it uh held up. Yeah, de de definitely worth so many secrets though, did you? No, I didn't show any secrets though. It means like keep on driving, you know? <laughs> well that's why we replaced it with a heart. We're all big Elon fans. You know, we we, we Elon's success. Elon's success is our success. Accurate. <laughs> if iOS succeeds, Android succeeds.